Hi, and welcome to the Battery Shop. This Chevrolet Malibu has a start-stop system, and its 12-volt battery is located here under the hood. And there's a lot of things in the way that are going to have to be removed before we can replace the battery in a vehicle like this. So we always recommend that you check with the vehicle manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions that you can find in a service or repair manual so that you have everything you need, you're familiar with the project, you don't forget anything, and you can safely and efficiently replace the battery in a vehicle like this. Here's how it's done. We are using a memory saver to keep the computer's memories alive as we replace the battery in this vehicle. The first step is to remove the fasteners for the battery cover hold down bracket. And you'll need your 10 millimeter wrench for that. Then remove the hold down bracket. Next, remove the negative battery terminal cover. Then remove the positive battery terminal cover. With gloves and safety glasses on, the next step is to remove the negative battery cable from the negative battery terminal, and you'll need your 10 millimeter wrench for that. Then loosen the fastener for the positive battery cable, and you'll need your 10 millimeter wrench again for that. Then remove the positive battery cable from the positive battery terminal. The next step is to remove the connector from the side of the battery cover. Now we can remove the battery cover. The next step is to remove the battery's hold down bracket and you'll need your 13 millimeter wrench for that. Now we can remove the old battery and install the replacement battery. And then reinstall the battery's hold down bracket. Now we can reinstall the battery cover. And reattach the electrical connector. Next, reinstall the positive battery cable onto the positive battery terminal. But don't pound these terminals on as this can cause internal battery damage. And retighten the fastener. And then reinstall the positive battery cable cover. The next step is to reinstall the negative battery cable onto the negative battery terminal and retighten the fastener. And then reinstall the negative battery terminal cover. Now we can reinstall the battery cover's hold down bracket. And reinstall the fasteners.
and we're done. <laughs>